Hello, hello, and welcome to your weekly dose of self-improvement. My name is Amber. I am a lifestyle and career coach focused on mindset, confidence, healthy habits, and everything in between. And you are officially invited to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Affirmations with Amber. I cannot believe that I am officially saying that. But before I tell you more about the channel and what to expect from the content, I want to tell you a little bit about how this channel almost didn't happen. Girl, let me tell you, imposter syndrome is real, honey. It's a topic that I often discuss with my clients and so I felt like, you know what, I've got this. Like, I always share tips and tricks for how to overcome imposter syndrome, but I didn't even realize that I was experiencing the same thing myself. So whenever I think about the content that I want to create, I really want to make sure that it's something that inspires me. I know that my opinion is valid and that I deserve to share my voice and my perspective and my advice with a larger audience. So naturally, creating a YouTube channel was the right next step. It just made sense in the evolution of my brand. But you know, when I really started seriously thinking about it, I was like, I don't even know why I'm considering this. You know, I really started to think of all of the reasons why I shouldn't do this. I would tell myself things like, YouTube has been around for so long, everyone already has their favorite creators that they follow, like they go on Sundays and they look and they know who's gonna be uploading a new video, so why are they gonna be interested in content from you? Um, I would also think like, you know what, like yes, I give good advice, but like what makes my advice special? Like is there something that makes me unique, that makes me stand out, that people would actually want to be watching? Um, and then most of all, honestly, I just was like, I am afraid. Like why me? But guess what? I'm here anyways. Um, so, you know, I just got to the point where I was like, I know that my viewpoint and my perspective are valuable and unique. And most of all, I know myself and I know that I appreciate what I bring to the table. And at the end of the day, I want to share that with other people. So here we are at my YouTube channel. Um, so today, before we get into a little bit more about what you can expect from this channel, we're going to be talking about my three-step process to overcoming imposter syndrome. Name it, map it, do it. So let's dive right into step number one, name it. So personifying your imposter syndrome can really help you to compartmentalize the thoughts and the emotions as they arise. So imposter syndrome is defined as the persistent inability to believe that your success is deserved or legit. So basically self-doubt on a whole nother level. So I chose to name my imposter syndrome Gina. Hey Gina girl. No offense if your name is Gina. I actually don't know anyone named Gina personally. So I figured it was the perfect name for my imposter syndrome. So once you've personified imposter syndrome, it's a lot easier to dismiss those doubtful thoughts and emotions when you identify them as a tangible factor that can be removed. Gina is not nice. She's judgmental, she only focuses on the negative, she rarely smiles or laughs, and I like to imagine that she's wearing a pretty boring outfit. Now that I've personified Gina and given her her own identity, she's no longer a part of me. She's an external factor that I can avoid or remove from my path, just like I would any other person who wants to bring negativity or doubt into my life. So name your imposter syndrome, give her all the negative qualities, and then move her to the side. Next up is step two, map it. I always suggest that you just map out the worst case scenario. Often you'll find that it's really not that bad. The worst case scenario can be, for this example, that no one watches any of my videos. But then I thought about it and it's like, okay, but either way, I'm still really proud of what I created. I'm still really inspired to share my thoughts, my perspective, and I get to have fun in the process. So now I've canceled out all the bad that could happen and I'm able to then shift my attention to only focus on the good. So if you start at the worst, you can only improve from there. So ask yourself, literally, what is the worst that could happen? Once you've done that, then you have the power to decide if you're okay with it or if it's something that you're able to overcome then create a plan and make it happen. So that way, regardless of whether things go really well or really not so great, 
you are in control. You already knew what the worst case scenario could be. And at the end of the day, you're going to be happy with the choice that you made. Now, rounding out the list with step number three, do it. Just go for it and see what happens. You might even surprise yourself. Obviously, if you're watching this video right now, you know what happened in my situation. I decided to go for it. I'm officially a YouTuber. Honestly, I do not have everything perfectly figured out. I don't know what my content looks like five years from now. I don't know what this channel is going to become. But I've been able to follow my three-step process and most importantly, I'm trusting myself. So now, what can you expect from my channel? It's really gonna be a little bit of everything. I gain inspiration from so many different areas of life and I wanna share that information with you in a way that you're able to utilize on your personal journey of self-growth on this thing that we all call life. I'm gonna be covering a variety of topics ranging from how to set up your planner, creating vision boards, how to maintain a healthy fitness routine, different tips on finances and budgeting, and also how to be consistent in your routines across the board in order to be more efficient and just improve your quality of life overall. In addition to those amazing topics that I already have planned out for you guys, there's going to be so many more amazing things and amazing content that I'm so excited to share with you. So, imposter syndrome, Gina, we've moved her to the side. We don't know her. There is no time for any of that here, and there's no time for any of that in your life either. So please remember, follow the three-step process to overcome imposter syndrome. Name it, map it, and do it. And don't forget, if you are wanting to come back to my channel for your weekly dose of self-improvement tips, make sure that you subscribe. I would also absolutely love if you gave this video a thumbs up, a nice little like, and leave some comments. I want to know who you are, where you're from, what do you want to see on the channel, what do you want to learn about me, and all the things as we get started on this amazing journey. Thank you guys so much for watching my first video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.